Welcome to the Central Pennsylvania Institute of Science and Technology Certificate and Awards Virtual Ceremony. At this time, please join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, opening remarks from CPI Superintendent of Record, Dr. Brian Griffith. Hello and welcome CPI faculty, staff, administration, parents, friends, and most importantly, our 2020 students receiving certificates from the Central Pennsylvania Institute of Science and Technology. My name is Brian Griffith and I'm superintendent at Penns Valley Area School District, which is one of the three school districts that operate this technical school for its students. On behalf of Joseph Clapper, interim superintendent of Bald Eagle, and Mrs. Tammy Burnerford, acting superintendent at Belfont, and our two retired superintendents, Mr. Miles and Dr. Saylor, I extend our most sincere welcome to mark this milestone event. This event is occurring during an unanticipated and unprecedented pandemic, resulting in school closures, not only in this entire Commonwealth, but around the world. These are challenging yet historic times. And I have faith that once again, humankind will continue forward and our youth will likely be those to light our pathway. John F. Kennedy once said, we are not here to curse the darkness, but to light the candle that can guide us through the darkness to a safe and sane future. As we honor our CPI certificate recipients for 2020, I encourage everyone to support our students as they light our pathway to a brighter future. Our three school districts are extremely proud of the tradition of excellence that is CPI. Our school districts value career and technical education because it provides our students with an opportunity for a successful future. By attending CPI, each student has had the unique chance to participate in real life experience, which is so important to being a successful employee or business leader in today's world economy. My sincere hope is that each student applies these skills in the next step that life has set before them. Again, I welcome each of you and say congratulations to our CPI certificate recipients on a job well done. It's now my pleasure to welcome to the podium Mrs. Weaver, Chair of the Joint Operating Committee. On behalf of the Joint Operating Committee, I would like to welcome the Central Pennsylvania Institute of Science and Technology Class of 2020 and families. No one ever imagined that graduations or award ceremonies would be taking place in a very non-traditional way. However, life has a way of redesigning the plans we may have thought to be traditional. In times of change or uncertainty, our character is tested. Our character is tested by the way we choose to react in the face of life's challenges. Life will sometimes go the way you have planned, but it may take a detour, such as our current situation. Will you choose to view the negative and be unhappy with the circumstances, or will you choose to view the positive and be the first graduating class to have some of the most unique, creative, and innovative graduation ceremonies ever imagined? Each of you have already made a positive choice to attend CPI. Over the past three or four years, you have shown determination, dedication, and tenacity, which already puts you a step above others. Class of 2020, continue to see the best in every circumstance, continue to encourage and lift others, and always continue to be CPI proud. It is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Marianne Boulders. Thank you, Mrs. Weaver. Welcome to the first 2020 CPI Virtual Senior Awards and Certificate Ceremony. The seniors that we are recognizing during this program have worked very hard to acquire the skills and knowledge necessary for success in their chosen technical field. We are very excited to recognize the accomplishments of 120 seniors in the class of 2020. Obviously, this senior recognition looks a lot different from past years 
but the CPI family is hopeful that you will find the ceremony meaningful and one that you will look back on with pride. A different ending doesn't make your road to graduation any less memorable, special, or important. Let this be even more of a reason for you to go out and change the world for the better. You're all exceptional students graduating in exceptional times. No circumstances can take away the work and dedication that you've put in to getting to this special occasion in your life. It has been my pleasure to work with each and every one of you over the past several years. I regret that we didn't get to spend the last several months of school together and go through many of the senior activities as a CPI family. I know that each CPI senior will go out into the world and make their presence known. I encourage you to always be kind, be positive, be resilient, and continue to work smart. We are counting on you to make the world a better place. Your journey is just getting started. Congratulations, CPI Class of 2020. Even though we are going through an unusual time with so many unknowns, we are very fortunate that almost all of our award and scholarship sponsors willingly provided their awards again this year in these unprecedented times. Thousands of dollars worth of scholarships, awards, and gifts provided by local businesses, organization, and individual CPI supporters. I would like to thank the award sponsors for their generous contributions and support of CPI in individual program areas. A full list of sponsors will be provided on the CPI website and our Facebook page after the ceremony. Each year, many of our senior students are accepted into the National Technical Honor Society. This is the highest award for excellence in career and technical education. To be considered for the National Technical Honor Society, a student first must be nominated by their instructor, maintain a 3.0 grade point average at CPI and their home school, have excellent attendance, and perform the required hours of community service. This year we have 34 seniors that have met the requirements for acceptance into the National Technical Honor Society. At this time, I would like to recognize those 34 seniors. Connor Bittner, Information Technology. Julia Bloom, Cosmetology. Skylar Bradley, Medical Science Technology. Alexa Bresler, Dental Assisting. Asher Burkett, Collision Repair Technology. Constance Cower, Emergency Services. Riley Dubs, Advertising and Commercial Arts. Riley Emmel, Early Childhood Education. Zachary Edders, Information Technology. Alexis Facer, Dental Assisting. Jaden Fountain, Early Childhood Education. Kaylee Gein, Dental Assisting. Jason Harder, HVAC. Matthew Hagenstaller, Information Technology. Aaron Hiller, Carpentry and Building Construction Technology. Mitchell Holden, Welding and Metal Fabrication Technology. Emily Hobies, Medical Science Technology. Kyle Hoy, Collision Repair Technology. Sydney Johnson, Medical Science Technology. Rebecca Klein, Medical Science Technology. Scott Lillidol, Welding and Metal Fabrication Technology. Morgan Lucas, Medical Science Technology. Kaylin McCloskey, Emergency Services. Megan McClure, HVAC. Rylan Pasella, Precision Machine Technology. Brianna Praskovich, Early Childhood Education. Harley Rote, Emergency Services. Haley Svang, Cosmetology. Cameron Smith, Horticulture Landscaping. Logan Smith, Medical Science Technology. Alexandra Spencer, Emergency Services. Isaac Stem, Carpentry and Building Construction Technology. Emma Walk, Advertising and Commercial Arts. Rachel Whitmer, Cosmetology. I would also like to thank Mrs. Gearhart, our NTHS advisor, for her tireless work with this student organization. Congratulations to our NTHS students. At this time, it's my pleasure to present several special recognition awards to members of the class of 2020. The first of our special recognition awards is the E. Dell Simpson Memorial Award. 
Mr. Simpson was the Cooperative Education and Adult Education Coordinator at CPI for many years. This $100 reward was established in Mr. Simpson's memory and is to be given to a student who plans on pursuing a post-secondary education. The 2020 E. Dale Simpson Memorial Award winner is Sydney Johnson, a student from Bald Eagle in our Medical Science Program. Congratulations, Sydney. Our next two awards are the Kiwanis Club of Belfont Awards, which are given to two students who have exhibited strong work ethic, a spirit of cooperation, and a sincere desire to excel in their program area. These $100 awards go to Zachary Edders, an information technology student from Bald Eagle area and the Center County Christian Academy, and Skylar Bradley, a medical science student from Bald Eagle. Congratulations, Zach and Skylar. Our next awards are the Local Teachers Union Scholarship Awards. The Local Teachers Union is awarding two $100 scholarships to two students that maintain high standards of personal and professional conduct, strive for excellence in education and employment, and commit and support the community, county, and society. The winners of this award will receive a $100 scholarship. This year's winners are Sophia Dimitratos, a Bald Eagle student in our culinary arts program, and Mercedes Evans, a culinary arts student from Belfont. Congratulations, Sophia and Mercedes. Our next award is the Sigma Aldridge Award. This award is sponsored by Sigma Aldridge and is given to a student who demonstrates outstanding leadership, perseverance, and commitment during their time at CPI. The winner of this award will receive $150. This year, the Sigma Aldridge Award recipient is a student from our Collision Repair Program and Belfont, Kyle Hoy. Congratulations, Kyle. Our next awards are the Belfont Women's Club Awards. The Belfont Women's Club is awarding two $200 scholarships to two deserving students to assist them as they begin their careers with their post-secondary plans. The winners of this award are Rylan Basella, a Precision Machine student from Belfont, and Alexa Bressler, a dental assisting student from Belfont. Congratulations, Rylan and Alexa. Our next awards are the Arletta Walker Memorial Scholarships. Arletta Walker's life can be summed up by this poem that she loved called Wish You. When your spirit is low, I wish you beauty. When you are troubled, I wish you peace. When you are lonely, I wish you love. When you are sad, I wish you joy. When you are discouraged, I wish you hope. Much like the attitude we call the CPI way, Arletta Walker was a woman who was compassionate toward everyone, loved the underdogs, recognized those in the background, and was a relentless champion for people finding their way. Each of the three 2020 award recipients will receive $500 each. This year's award recipients include Alexis Facer, a dental assisting student from Belfont, Morgan Lucas, a Bald Eagle student enrolled in our medical science program, and Kaylin McCloskey, an emergency services student from Belfont. Congratulations, Alexa, Morgan, and Kaylin. Our next award is the Outstanding Construction Trade Student. This award is sponsored by the Associated Builders and Contractors and is given to an outstanding carpentry, HVAC, or horticulture and landscaping student. The award recipient will receive $200. This year's award is presented to Megan McClure, a Belfont student enrolled in her HVAC program. Congratulations, Megan. Our next award is the Historic Belfont Cruise Scholarship. This $500 award is generated through the Historic Belfont Cruise to recognize a graduating senior who has successfully completed the Automotive Science and Technology or Collision Repair Program. The award winner must demonstrate the qualities of merit, a strong work ethic, trustworthiness, responsibility, and has a history of community volunteer involvement. The Historic Belfont Cruise Scholarship winner is a collision repair student from Belfont, Kyle Hoy. Congratulations, Kyle. Our next award is the Builders Association of Central Pennsylvania Award. The purpose of the Builders Association of Central PA's $500 award is to empower building and construction program instructors to highlight and recognize those students who are exemplary in the construction trade studies. This award is to help attract and keep students in the construction trades industry. The student receiving this award must be enrolled in one of our building construction trades programs and be moving forward within the construction industry in their future plans. The winner of this award is a Belfont student from our HVAC program, Megan McClure. Congratulations, Megan. Our next award is the Mr. Hank Yegley Award. 
Mr. Hank Yegley served on our Joint Operating Committee for 20 years. During his time as our JOC President, his outstanding leadership helped CPI grow into the school that it is today. Enrollment has increased, we are recognized as one of the premier career and technical schools in PA, and we now offer AST degrees in several program areas, thanks to Hank's vision and tenacity to reach our goals. The Henry Yegley Scholarship is presented to a student who has chosen to return to CPI to pursue a post-secondary high school associate in specialized technology degree. This $1,000 scholarship is given to a deserving student to help assist with the cost of furthering his or her education at CPI. Tonight's winner has chosen to enroll in one of our CPI AST programs next year. The winner of the Henry Yegley Scholarship is a heavy equipment student from the Bald Eagle School District, Derek Ripka. Congratulations, Derek. Our next award is the David B. Garver Memorial Scholarship. The David B. Garver Memorial Scholarship is sponsored by the Belfont Elks Lodge. In awarding this $1,000 scholarship, scholastic achievement, leadership, and financial need are taken into consideration. The recipient of the David Garver Memorial Scholarship is a welding student from Belfont, Mitchell Holden. Congratulations, Mitchell. I would now like to ask Mr. Bill Luther to please come to the podium to present the Outstanding Cooperative Education Student Award. Thank you, Mrs. Volders. I am very proud to announce this year's Outstanding Cooperative Education Student, the 2019-2020 school year, Megan McClure, Belfont student in our HVAC program. Congratulations, Megan. I'm very proud of you. Our next award is the Excellence in Attendance Award. CPI places a high value on attendance. Regular attendance establishes patterns of responsibility and commitment that will serve students throughout their lives. Over the past three years, tonight's award winner has demonstrated the discipline and dedication necessary for near-perfect attendance. He has made the commitment to be on time almost every day for the past three years and in school every day for the past three years, with the exception of a college visitor or two, which has led him to decide on Grove City College. This is an outstanding achievement. The CPI Excellence and Attendance Award, which is sponsored by the Pleasant Gap Rotary, is presented to a collision repair student from Bald Eagle, Asher Bergen. Congratulations, Asher. Our next award is the CPI Student Excellence Award. The CPI Student Excellence Award recognizes an individual who has distinguished academic and technical credentials, has made significant contributions to CPI, and has the personal attributes of character and integrity that have earned the respect and admiration her peers, instructor, and administration. During her time at CPI, she was the president of the FFA and the lead designer for the Hero Escape Project at the Center County Public Safety Training Center. She's competed in the state FFA competition for nursery and landscape, and has competed in the national landscape build-off in Springfield, Massachusetts. This student designed and helped build the first place farm show landscape display last year, and was instrumental with many projects during her 10th grade year. The recipient of the Student Excellence Award will receive a $500 scholarship. CPI Student Excellence Award for 2020 is presented to a student from the Penns Valley Area School District enrolled in our Horticulture and Landscaping Program, Brittany Royer. Congratulations, Brittany. Our last award today is our 2020 CPI Outstanding Student Award, which is $1,000 sponsored by Reliance Bank. The 2020 CPI Outstanding Student Award winner is an idea generator who is creative and thinks outside of the box. She is decisive, strategic, and understands that success comes with a cost, hard work. She keeps the big picture present and inspires others by jumping in with a let's do this mentality. This young lady has been a member of Skills USA for the past three years, and her team placed first at regionals in the healthcare health knowledge bowl competition for the past two years. She's a member of the National Technical Honor Society and was the class president in her program area. She earned her certified nurse assistant certification last year and has been working in the in industry ever since. She's been accepted at Penn State Altoona where she will major in nursing. With all of her accomplishments and work ethic, this student possesses all of the qualities necessary for success. The student receiving this award will receive a $1,000 check and an outstanding CPI plaque. CPI's outstanding student for the 2019-2020 school year is a wonderful young lady enrolled in our medical science program from the Bald Eagle School District, Skylar Bradley. Congratulations, Skylar. Job well done. 
Congratulations to all of our award winners. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the one who'll decide where to go. Today we will start with advertising and commercial arts and our instructor is Mrs. Yana Boyd. Thomas R. Bumbarger, Riley F. Dubs, Caroline E. Curtis, Sierra G. McIntosh, Carter B. Neese, Emma L. Walk. For advertising and commercial arts today, we have three awards to present. First is a $100 reward, and it's the Bob Coble Memorial Award, and that is presented to Riley Dubs. Our second award is an instructor's award in the amount of $100. That is presented to Emma Walk. And our 2020 Outstanding Advertising and Commercial Arts student is Emma Walk. Congratulations. I will now ask Mrs. Boyd to share some comments to her class. Hello. So I'm going to start with um, that I know this isn't how you imagined uh, your CPI experience ending, and it is absolutely not how we wanted it to end. But if you learned anything in advertising arts, you learned to take a hit and you learned how to get back up, brush it off and find another way to make it better. I truly hope that your abilities to take constructive criticism and turn them into positive outcomes will help you navigate the new normal and guide you in your years to come. I wanna say thank you to my students. Thank you for allowing me to be your instructor. Thank you for bringing me joy, laughter, tears, conversation, learning, creativity and caring into a world or into my world over the years. You have each taught me as well and for that I am extremely thankful. I wish you the best going forward and hope you find your passion in the world whether it be in design or some other field. And while the times may be uncertain, I am certain that you have the ability to make your future and I can't wait to see the places you'll go. Congratulations Advertising Arts Class of 2020. Our second program today is Automotive Science Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Michael Seip. In our Automotive Science Technology class, we have two students to recognize today. Bailey W. Hall, Blake W. Markham. For Automotive Science and Technology, we have two awards to present. The first is the Jan Maurer Memorial Award for $250. That is being presented to Bailey Hall. And our 2020 Outstanding Automotive Science Technology student is Bailey Hall. Congratulations. This time, I would like to ask Mr. Seip to offer some words of advice to his uh, graduating seniors. Mr. Seip. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Bailey Hall, uh, Bald Eagle student who's been with me for three years now. And he's a great guy, a uh, very nice student. Uh, currently holds a position as a detail person at Stalker Subaru uh, and always has a great story to tell. So congratulations, Bailey Hall. Great having you in class. Second student, Blake Markham, is a Penns Valley student who just joined me this uh, his senior year, and he's an excellent student. Has learned a lot in my program. And I wish you both luck, uh, Bailey and Blake. Uh, congratulations on graduation from CPI, and I wish you uh, all the best in the future. Thank you. I would now like to invite Mr. Martin Crane, our carpentry instructor to help me celebrate the Carpentry and Building Construction Technology class. William E. Crater, Dustin Z. Dietrich, Aaron P. Hiller, Colton B. Luce, Isaac S. Sten. For Carpentry today, we have three awards to give out. The first is the J. Elvin Hawbaker Memorial Award, which is sponsored by the Builders Association of Central PA, and this is in the amount of $100. That award winner is William Crater. The second award is the Colonel Donald E. Antis Memorial Award, which is also sponsored by the Builders Association of Central PA in the amount of $100. And that is presented to Isaac Stem. Our 2020 Outstanding Carpentry student is Aaron Hiller. I'd like to now ask Mr. Martin Crane to join me at this podium and offer some words to his class. Hello. Uh, three years ago, I entered a classroom setting for the first time and, well, 
a very long time, let's put it that way. I was full of an ambition and an eagerness to share with everybody and the students the things that I have learned about a trade and industry that I am very passionate about. But I was also full of nervous tor turmoil as far as where this may go, how this will you know, lead to, and so forth. That very first morning, I was greeted with a bunch of faces in that classroom setting, and among those faces greeting me that very first morning was this year's graduating class. To this class, I want to tell you, you are not my first group of seniors, you are not my first graduating class, but you were my first class. The very first class that I ever had. Now, in these last three years, I have not always been the teacher as you have not always been the student. I have learned and taken away something from each and every one of you. Because each and every one of you as individuals have something to offer this world. I hope that I've impacted you as you have impacted me and that I have given you the tools to set up for a very prosperous future. To the CPI Carpentry class of 2020, I wish you good luck in all your future endeavors. And I want you to know that as long as I am here occupying the classroom, the door is always welcome and the invitation is always extended. Good luck to you. Our next program area is Collision Repair Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Brian Hummel. Carly M. Beerley, Asher B. Burkett, Kyle H. Hoy, David A. Loach. For Collision Repair, we have two awards to present. The first is a Pleasant Gap Rotary Club Award for a Collision Repair student in the amount of $50, and that is presented to Asher Burkett. And then our second one, the 2020 Outstanding Collision Repair student is Asher Burkett. At this time, I'm going to invite Mr. Hummel to the podium to offer some words to his class. How are we doing, guys? Uh, we got shortened up a little bit this year, but uh, you guys have been one of the best classes I've ever had, um, this being my sixth year. I'm going to miss you guys all individually for your special qualities that you brought to us this year. Um, you guys uh, will do well in the future, every, every one of you, I have no doubt. Um, you all are special in your own way, and I'm very proud of you, and good luck in the future. Our next program area today is cosmetology. Our instructor is Mrs. Alicia Kitchen. Julia E. Bloom, Haley N. Clegg, Madison A. Comfer, Emily M. Musser, Sarah E. Owens, Zeta T. Phillips, Jasmine R. Platt, Haley N. Smith, Ashlyn R. Smith, Brianna L. Smith, Angel M. Snyder, Ashlyn K. Uncles, Rachel M. Whitmer, Tegan S. Wotazic. For cosmetology today, we have six different awards to present. The first two are hair cutting shears, thinning shears, and razor, and a razor presented by Shark Fin Shears. So we have two of those to give out today. One is going to Tegan Wotazic, and the other is going to Ashlyn Smith. Our next one is an iron blow dryer, dryer donated by Sally Beauty, and that will be given to Brianna Smith. We have two $50 awards donated by U2 Beauty and Wellness. The first of those $50 awards is presented to Zeta Phillips, and the second of those awards is presented to Emily Musser. Our 2020 Outstanding Cosmetology student is Julia Bloom. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Kitchen to come to the podium and offer some words of advice to our students. Girls, you will always have a special place in my heart. Three years ago, I walked into the classroom terrified. Um, and those of you that were freshmen, I know you were just as terrified as I was. It was my first year teaching. I know I fumbled a lot through those first couple of years but it's been a real honor just watching you grow as cosmetologists and as people. Like I said, you'll always have a special place in my heart. I love and care for you all, and I wish you nothing but the best. 
Congratulations, Class of 2020. Our next program today is Culinary Arts and Food and Beverage Management. Our instructor is Chef Timothy Beckenbaugh. Robert L. Kane, Sophia M. Demetratis, Mercedes R. Evans, Clayton D. Gamber, Emily B. Hagenboo, Ethan Z. McKessick. We have two awards to present today for Culinary Arts. The first one is sponsored by C.A. Curtsy Company, and it is a professional knife kit with case, and that is being presented to Emily Hagenboo. And our outstanding Culinary Arts student for 2020 is Emily Hagenboo. At this time, I'll ask Chef to uh, provide some words of wisdom to his seniors. Chef. Thank you. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be your chef instructor for the last two, three, four years, whatever it's been based on your case. And my words of wisdom are the same from day one. Always be able to adapt, adjust, innovate, overcome, and never ever give up that will carry you through everything you need to know in life. Other than that, smile, have fun, and travel and eat in every cool joint you can find. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Mindy Tobias, lead instructor in our dental assisting program, and Ms. Heidi Wagner, our assistant instructor in dental assisting, to join me so we can recognize the dental assisting class of 2020. Tania L. Barnhart, Alexa R. Bresler, Alexis M. Facer, Kaylee J. Gein, Bridget J. Lutz. For dental assisting today, we have three awards to give out. The first award is sponsored by Pediatric Dental Care and it is for $100. That award is presented to Alexa Bresler. Our second award, which is sponsored by the Center Cosmetic Dental and Belfont Family Dentistry, is a $150 award and that is presented to Alexis Facer. Our CPI Outstanding Dental Assisting Student for 2020 is Alexis Facer. Congratulations. This time I'd like to ask Mrs. Tobias to come to the podium and offer some words to her class of 2020. It is my pleasure to talk about the Dental Assisting class of 2020. This class is truly amazing. They have worked hard to pass the Dental Assisting National Board Radiology Exam. They were chosen to represent CPI at the 21st Annual Education Excellence Fair. They spent many hours working on patients in the CPI Mobile Dental Unit, and they even had to end the year figuring out how to complete assignments online, which was new for all of us. And I cannot be more proud of them. As a matter of fact, if you drive by my house, you will see signs for every single senior in my yard because once again, I am very proud of my kids and what they have accomplished. Now it is time to take the next step. And even though I did not get to tell you in person, I believe in every single one of you. And I know the next step is scary, so now it is time for you to believe in me. Believe that I have prepared you with the skills to go on to a post-secondary institution or directly into the workforce. Every one of you possesses what it takes to be successful. Now it's up to you, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each of you. Congratulations, Dental Assisting Class of 2020. Our next program area is diesel equipment maintenance and repair technology. Our instructor is Mr. John Fike III. Jason A. Carbonara, Ezekiel E. Conn. Dennis Garasanko, Chelsea D. Snook, Dylan M. Taylor, Hunter L. Walk. For diesel technology, we have two awards to give today. The first one is donated by the Pleasant Gap Rotary Club and it's for $50. That award is presented to Dylan Taylor. And our outstanding diesel technology student for 2020 is Jason Carbonero. I'll now ask Mr. Fike to offer some words of guidance to his class of 2020. Greetings Diesel students, parents, guardians, and extended family members. I'd like to thank you for all your support over the past few years for your students. Uh, seniors, you've made it to a pinnacle portion in your life. The journey through high school hasn't been easy for you. 
a lot of challenges and you faced a pandemic, but congratulations on what you've completed. It's not the end of the book, it's just the beginning of a new chapter. But I leave you with a few words of uh, wisdom that I've learned across my life. Life's a journey, not a destination. So keep an eye out for the passing scenery. Whatever you choose to do, go all in, not part way. Never give up, never quit learning. Never let adversity slow you down or become an anchor. Use them as fuel for the future. Seniors, I would like to thank you for being a part of the CPI family and the diesel program for the past few years. I offer you uh, congratulations and the best of wishes in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020. Our next program area is early childhood education. Our instructor is Mrs. Erin Gearhart. Riley B. Emmel, Jaden N. Fountain, Logan M. Gettier, Taylor F. McCool, Brianna K. Praskovich, Serenity A. Ronk, Sienna J. Selfridge, Nikita M. Weaver. Today for early childhood, we have two awards to give out. The first one is a $100 reward donated by Kids Connection, and that is presented to Brianna Praskovich. And our outstanding early childhood education student for 2020, is Brianna Praskovich. I'd now like Mrs. Gerhardt to share some words of wisdom for her class. Congratulations to the early childhood class of 2020. Riley, Jaden, Sienna, Brianna, Serenity, Taylor, Nikita, and Logan. This is not what we imagined our last days together would be like. But remember, we can't control all things in our life. As you graduate, what you can control are the choices you make. Make choices to improve you. And if you do, then success will follow. I wish each and every one of you the best of luck. Congratulations. Have a good summer. And one last time, behave, make good choices, and don't be stupid. Love and miss you all. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Our next program area is emergency services. Our instructor is Mrs. Shanine Leiter. Trenton E. Ahmed, Jacob A. Comfort, Jeremy C. Cousins, Constance J. Cower, Delilah N. Ledesma, Kaitlyn J. McCloskey, George A. McGonagall, Cameron M. Murray, Harley G. Rowe, Alexander J. Spencer. We have several awards to give out for protective services, emergency services today. I'd first like to invite Mrs. Linda Heverly. Uh, retired cosmetology teacher from CPI um, to present our first award in honor of her um, late husband, Mrs. Heverly. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's also an honor to be here to be able to give an award for my late husband, Mr. Heverly, and the Undying Fire Company. We would like to give this award to Harley Rote. Thank you, Mrs. Heverly, for unchecking. Our next award is a $50 award donated by Teresa Brickley, and that goes to Harley Road. The Ronald J. Gummo Memorial Award for a student going into the military is a $50 award, and that is being presented to Kayla McCloskey. And the 2020 Outstanding Program Area Student for Emergency Services is Harley Road. Congratulations. I'll now ask uh, Instructor Leiter to step over and have some comments for her seniors. Okay, I can lighten up a little bit, guys. Um, congratulations. This is to the Emergency Services Class of 2020. And uh, boy, this went downhill pretty quickly this year. Um, but at least on the good end of things, we did prepare ourselves for this. And we spoke about COVID-19 in class before everything kind of went downhill. And at least we expected it. Uh, at this point, um, we got to push forward. And if there's something that I hope I got to teach all of you within the program is that you cannot give up in this program. You cannot quit and people look for us to solve the problems and you can't quit. There can't be giving, you just can't give up to what you're going to do. Um, we solve the problems, we run into danger when everybody else runs out. Make sure you have the, that protective instinct inside of you. And I know that you all do, and I know that I was trying to instill that in all of you, and you have it. 
I look forward to seeing each of you on the street. I will be proud and um, very excited to be able to run with some of you on the street whenever we get out there. And I know you all will be there. The one thing I hope you take away is that I will always be there for you. You can always count on me. And remember, a hero is somebody who, in spite of their weaknesses, doubt or not always knowing the answers, goes ahead and overcomes anyways. Please don't forget that and always know I'm here. I will miss you and good luck. Keep on going, guys. Thank you for everything you do. Congratulations, 2020. Our next program today is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Our instructor is Mr. Kenneth Hassinger. Holden R. Carper, Jason A. Harder, Tyler W. Hilger, Rex A. Johnson, Devin S. Kybe, Nicholas C. Maynard, Megan A. McClure. So for HVAC, we have five awards to give out today. The first award is the Melco Head of Class Award, and that is presented to Megan McClure. Our second award is for $100, and it's the Clyde W. Confer Memorial Award, which is sponsored by Rebecca Chambers and Marion Confer, and that is presented to Jason Harder. Our next award is a $150 award donated by Redmond's Complete Comfort, and that is presented to Megan McClure. Our next award is the PA Builders Association Award in the amount of $250, and that is presented to Megan McClure. And our 2020 Outstanding HVAC student at CPI is Megan McClure. I'll now ask Mr. Hassinger to share some words of wisdom with his graduating class. Mr. Hassinger. Thank you, Mrs. Holders. First, congratulations. You've made it. Um, you made it through the hard times, the boring times, the happy times. You've made some new friends and learned a new trade. The class of each uh, VAC 2020 has several distinctions. This class has both the shortest, Megan, and the tallest, Nick, that I've ever had in a class before. This class faces more employment opportunities than any HVAC class I've had before. This class is the first to learn about uh, social distancing. So much for learning the really good firm handshake, right? This class has the first female graduate. This class contains the first group of four year, ninth grade through 12th grade, students scheduled through CPI. One of those four-year students is the first female student to graduate from HVAC. She began working in the HVAC field the summer between her 10th and 11th grade year. She was the first HVAC student to do co-op in both 11th grade and in 12th grade. She is a worker. Every year she earned her way to the top of the class. Right now she's earned her way to a full-time position at Redmond's Complete Comfort. Congratulations, Megan McClure. Every one of you, there are more opportunities out there than I've ever seen in the 40 some years that I've been in this field. I wish the best to all of you. I wish you to find your fullest potential. Go out there, be good, stay well. Thank you. Our next program today is Heavy Equipment Operations. Our instructor is Mr. Chris Skelly. Kiefer L. Charnick, Garrett D. Cristani, Bridget E. Essenwine, Nicholas A. Fisher, Nathan C. Pecht, Logan D. Ryder, Derek A. Ripka, Dylan L. Roberts, Max R. Snyder, Colin C. Venata, Christopher W. Yoder, Today it's our pleasure to present five different awards for heavy equipment. I'd like to start um, by asking Mr. Josh Hall to come to the podium. Um, he's going to start our first heavy equipment award today. Josh. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Josh Hall and I'm here on behalf of Glenn O. Hallbaker and Dan Hallbaker to present the Glenn O. Hallbaker Memorial Award. Glenn O. was Dan's father he created our company in 1952. This award is in his honor and is presented annually to the senior who displays outstanding performance in heavy equipment operations. 
is with great honor that I present this year's award to Logan Ryder. We would also like to say thank you to CPI for their continued partnership with GOH as they do an outstanding job preparing the young workforce from which we ultimately end up hiring on a year-to-year -year basis. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Our next award is the Ronald J. Gummo Senior Memorial Award for $500, and that is presented to Nick Fisher. We also have the Dylan Thomas Swank Scholarship for $250, and that is presented to Kiefer Charnick. The Tyler Rogers Memorial Scholarship for $500 is given to Dylan Roberts, and an outstanding heavy equipment operations student for 2020 is Logan Ryder. I'd now like to ask Mr. Skelly to offer some words of wisdom to his class of 2020. Good morning to the 2020 graduating heavy equipment operations seniors. I hope this message finds you well. They say history repeats itself for those unwilling to learn. While that may be true, in the short three months that I've had with you, I've learned something. That's not the case. I've seen a change in you that given the opportunity you wanted to learn. In fact, you thrive for it. As the times change, we must overcome and adapt. My send off to you is to never stop learning. Each day strive to be better. Give it your all and aim for your goals. Don't settle for anything less than your very best. If you can take anything away from what you've learned, I hope you remember this quote. It was on the board several times. It's from Zig Ziglar. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. It will make you or break you, so stay strong, dig deep, no pun intended, and be proud as CPI HEO graduates because I'm proud of you all. Congratulations to the 2020 HEO graduates of CPI. You've completed your final high school task list. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Joe Luther to join me so we can honor the horticulture and landscaping technology class. Kayla M. bittner Bruss, Darren R. Freed, Alexander E. Filaire, Dylan F. Hess, Brian R. Hill, Ashley M. Ishler, Brittany L. Royer, Cameron R. Smith, Katie S. Yerrick. For the Horticulture and Landscaping program, we have four awards to give today. The first is a $75 cash award for our outstanding FFA student. It's awarded by the Center County FFA. That award goes to Brittany Royer. The Wilda H. Farrell Stanfield Memorial Award, which is sponsored by the Belfont Garden Club, is for $200, and that goes to Cameron Smith. The James F. Luther Award in the amount of $200 will be presented to Darren Freed. And our outstanding 2020 Horticulture and Landscaping student is Brittany Royer. I'd now like to ask Mr. Luther to make some comments to his students. Hello everybody. This year started off fairly well. We, we started with our first Heroes Gate project um, you know, early in the fall. And if you guys remember that whole concept of what the design concept was, was to honor 9-11. And the interesting thing about this, you know, most of you guys were born in 9-11. And you were born in when the world was in an uproar and now you're graduating and basically in the same, um, the same circumstances. A little bit different, but with all the COVID-19 um, problems that we're facing right now. The interesting part though is make sure you're continuing to work hard, go after your dreams, and follow through with whatever you want to do. And always remember, life's a garden, dang it. I'd like to introduce the 2020 CPI Horticulture and Landscaping Program. Our next program area is Information Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Alan Caparell. Mr. Caparell. Connor J. Bittner, Joshua P. Carper, Hunter C. DeMond Hatton, Ethan M. Ebling, Zachary M. Edders, Matthew R. Hegenstaller, Andrew J. Peters. Today for Information Technology, we have two awards to present. The first is an Instructor's Award, which is donated by Mr. Caporell for $100. The award winner is Matthew Hegenstaller. And our 2020 Outstanding Information Technology Program student 
is Matthew Hagenstall. Congratulations. At this time, I'll ask Mr. Caporal to come to the podium to offer some words of advice to his class of 2020. My name is Mr. Caporello, the IT instructor at CPI. I have a very good class graduating this year with a couple firsts. I have my first ever four-year students. I have my first ever Christian Academy students. My students are very well prepared and ready to go to college. Most of my students are going on to further education to go to at least three different universities, and at least one of my students is going to the military. I have full confidence that they're going to do great things in life. So congratulations to the class of 2020. Our next program area today that we recognize is our Medical Science Technology Program. Our instructor is Mrs. Christine Reed. Harley A. Bartley. Skylar H. Bradley. Mariah L. Chamberlain. Mara E. Horner. Emily E. Hovey. Sydney M. Johnson. Rebecca L. Klein. Morgan L. Lucas. Jasa S. O'Neill, Logan L. Smith. For medical science today, we have two awards to present. The first is the Lewis E. Etter Memorial Award for $100, which is sponsored by the Etter Law Firm. The winner of that award is Skylar Bradley. Our 2020 Outstanding Medical Science Technology student is Skylar Bradley. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Reed to come to the podium and offer some words of advice to her class of 2020. This is Reed. Okay, thank you. Well, hello. Here I am, and there you are. I know this is not what we expected, but it is the way it is. Um, I guess if there's a silver lining, it would be that we will never forget 2020. I don't think as we grow old that we'll ever look back and say, what happened in 2020 again? I think we'll all have major clarity for what happened in 2020. Um, another thing, who knew that on our classroom door, a quote will become so relevant to our current situation. It goes like this. A healthy attitude is contagious, but don't wait to catch it from others. Be a carrier. How relevant is that to our current situation? Um, so we had an opportunity, many of my seniors, to put this quote into play. Uh, many of my seniors continue to work in healthcare and um, go and take care of the elderly population who have been um, isolated during this pandemic and they were able to take the message of hope and not fear um, to these people. So, which was fantastic. So, uh, thank you so much. You're awesome. All of my seniors, all 10 of you, um, congratulations. Um, I uh, know that life and your future probably came knocking before you were expecting it, um, but you were ready, you were prepared, and I like to think that maybe medical science helped you along that way. Um, so, while I will miss you all so very much, um, just know that I send you off the giant um, grin in my heart. I know that you're all going to be just fine. So again, I just want to take a minute and congratulate every one of you. Um, it was a distinct honor and pleasure to be your teacher, and I think I learned a lot every day from you guys, too. So um, I love you all. Congratulations. Our next program area is Precision Machine Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Mike Klein. Mr. Mike Klein, can you come to the next podium? Quinn T. Boffman, John E. Jennings, Arctic H. Kitchen, Rylan E. Pasella. For Precision Machine today, we have two awards we'd like to give out. The first is a $50 award donated by the Pleasant Gap Rotary Club, and that award is presented to Rylan Pasella. Our 2020 Outstanding Program Area Precision Machine Technology student is Ryan Pasella. This time, I'll ask Mr. Klein to come to the podium and offer some words of advice to his class of 2020. I stand here a lucky guy. I got to meet and learn with four great people, and I'm just lucky. The best part of their lives is still ahead of them, so I wish them all the best and take care and be safe. Thank you. Our final program to be recognized today is Welding and Metal Fabrication Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Edward Finneyfrock. Luke A. Bainey, Mitchell J. Holden, Scott E. Lillidal, J. 
Jesse R. May, Colton S. Reese, Alyssa D. Russell. We have six awards to give out in welding. The first award is given to a student from any program area that has worked very hard to achieve goals and to improve in their program area. This is a $100 award donated by Sharon Cook. The winner of this award this year is Alyssa Russell. The Anthony Duran Memorial Award is for $300. That is also presented to Alyssa Russell. The Jason Weaver Memorial Award for $1,000 is presented to Mitchell Holden. Roberts Oxygen has donated a welder and Bosch grinder, and that is to be given to Scott Willadol. And our outstanding program area student in welding and metal fabrication for 2020 is Mitchell Holden. At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Fetty Frock to say a few words to the graduates. Thank you, Ms. Bowles. It is evening, correct? <laughs> uh, I would like to wish all my students a healthy and prosperous future. We have, in uncertain times, not knowing what will the future bring. However, you need to set high standards and few limitations for yourself. As a student of CPI, Look to the positive and not to the negative. Be optimistic, be constructive, and confident. If you have not already done so, this may be the time to spend quality time with your families. Enjoy an existing or start a new hobby. Make the best of your time. You have it now. Things will get better. And I'd also like to quote from a Greek philosopher, Aristotle. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Thank you. There's an exceptional amount of work that goes into making this event a special occasion. I want to thank our maintenance and custodial staff for the extra time and effort you've put into making the ceremony possible. Our executive secretary, Teresa Brickley, deserves special recognition for all the hard work that she does to make this event possible. I would like to thank the CPI instructors and staff for the great job that they do every day and all of the adjustments that they have made to their teaching and instruction over the past few months. They are the key component in the success of our students and our institution. When you see these people, please thank them for everything that they do for CPI, the students, and the community. Thanks to the parents and guardians for the opportunity to provide a quality career and technical education to your son or daughter. I'm sorry that it was cut short this year, but I know that the class of 2020 will persevere and make the best of their situation. I know it's a big de decision to enroll at CPI because of the time that students have to give up at their home school. Thank you all for making this choice. I know that it will be benefit you in your future endeavors. Thank you to everyone who could join us for the ceremony. On June 8th, between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., we would like to provide our seniors the opportunity to stop by CPI to pick up your certificate and awards that you received during the ceremony. We are encouraging students with the last name between A and M to come to CPI between 11 and 1, and for those with the last name between N and Z from 1 to 3 to help with traffic. CPI instructors will help the leadership team hand out certificates, and time will be available for students to take outside pictures if they would like staying within the Department of Health guidelines at the time. If you're not able to come to CPI on the 8th, certificates will be mailed. Awards that can be mailed will be sent home. For any award that is too big to be mailed, we will make arrangements for you to pick it up after June 8th. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Macon to provide a few closing remarks and to present the CPI class of 2020. Thank you, Mrs. Golders. Although different than any senior awards and certificate night in the history of CPI, tonight is nonetheless a night of celebration and commendation, a milestone event in the lives of the CPI class of 2020 and your families. To the class of 2020, I offer my congratulations on your success at both CPI and your sending schools. You, your families, friends, 
and all those who have supported you can be very proud. Tonight, the pandemic cannot and will not diminish your accomplishments. To the parents and families of our graduates, thank you for entrusting your students to us. We have appreciated the opportunity and the privilege of having them at CPI. Graduates, as you leave CPI, I encourage you to stay positive in these challenging times, to stay hopeful, and always, always to be thankful. Be thankful, be grateful. Grateful people are happy people. You can, and I believe you will, make a positive difference in the world in which we live. You are the future, and I know you will usher in tomorrow with resounding success. The best is yet to come, and you will make it so. Class of 2020, thank you for your many sacrifices this senior year. Please accept my very best wishes for your personal happiness and professional success. Families and friends, at this time, it is my pleasure to present to you the CPI Class of 2020.